screen or else it'll uh, kick you out automatically. So be very careful with that. And I'm going to flip my camera to the other one so you guys can see what's on my table. Here we go. And my best suggestion for you guys, if you want to be able to see my instructions better, is to always uh, click your mouse cursor over my hand and pin me. That way, I'm a little bit bigger on your screen. But you don't have to pin me, but it's highly suggested because uh, just in case you guys can't see. All right, here we go. The art workbook for first grade, what I'm going to do is open it up. If you don't have the art workbook, like how some people have, just make sure you have a blank sheet of paper and just draw a nice big circle on it. Okay. But for right now, let's just go over one of the pages here. And it's this one right here. Okay. It says glue. We don't have a demonstration, but I can at least talk about it because uh, we've done this in kindergarten before. So you don't need glue, uh, but we're just going to talk about it. So here we go. It says, I can learn glue. Artists use glue to attach two pieces of art materials together. You don't need a lot of glue to make things stick. Let's see. So what they're referring to is a glue bottle, like how Brian has in his hand. Um, but we don't normally use these types of glue bottles in my art class. I just don't like using these type of glue sticks or uh, glue bottles. It's really messy. All right, let's see what it says next. It says, when we glue, we want to do a dot or glue and not puddle it. Use your glue bottle and make a little dotted line around the edge of the shape. You don't need to worry about that. So don't put any glue on this page. All right, and then let's talk about the material that we use all the time, which is glue sticks. I think I have one right here. Yeah. So this is the one that we normally use at school. Let's talk about what they have to say about that. It says glue sticks are used the same way, except instead of a dotted line, you use a straight line. Just go around the edge of the shape with your glue stick. So that's what we normally do. All right. I think I heard someone. Did someone have a question? No? All right. Let's keep going. All right. So that was glue. Let's flip over to the next page and let's catch up to the people that have drawn a nice big circle on their page. All right. So if you have the workbook, you don't have to do anything. You just got to watch for right now. But for those of you who don't have a workbook, if you just have a blank sheet of paper, all you're going to do is copy this by drawing a nice big circle on your page like this. A okay, nice big circle if you just have a blank sheet of paper. So Kathy and Kayla has drawn a nice big circle. Looks like how I did. The reason why it looks kind of like this is because I did it on the other side. So, all right. So next step. If you have a blank sheet of paper and you don't have the workbook, this is what I would like you to do. You're going to draw a straight line down the middle, up and down. Okay, just so it looks like the one in the workbook. And again, if you have the workbook, you don't have to do this part. We're just doing this so we can help the people that don't have the workbook right now. And then, after you do the straight down line down the middle, you're going to make a nice big X. So I'm going to go from here, go across, and go from here, go across. So now it looks like you have six different sections. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So it should look like this. All right. And if you don't have coloring supplies, there is a way how to do this with none. Thanks for uh, keeping your microphones off, guys. This is really great. We can get a lot of work done when you guys are paying attention and listening. This is awesome. All right. And again, if you don't have coloring supplies, I will show you guys how to do it without coloring supplies. All right. Brian, put away the glue. We don't need that. Okay, so now that we have people that have just a piece of paper or a bunch of sheet of paper, you are all caught up. Okay, so I'm going to move on to my workbook here. All right, here it is. So just like this. Now, if you don't have coloring supplies, this is what we're going to do. You're going to go ahead and rewrite the word inside the triangle. So for those of us who do have colors, you want to pull out the primary colors first. The primary colors are blue, red, and yellow. Can you guys get those colors for me? If you don't have the colors, just have a pencil ready. If you don't have the colors, just have a pencil ready. All right. 
That's plenty good. I see McKenzie has markers, which is awesome. I saw Paige has crayons. It's awesome. And again, you can use any supplies you want. If you have a highlighter laying around, a highlighter will work. Kathy, those markers will work fine. All right, next step. Next step. Let's start off with red. If you have the red crayon, get it out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to color the section or the triangle that says red. We're going to color all that red. But if you don't have the red crayon or if you don't have anything red, like how I'm going to pretend I don't, just take your pencil and just write down the word red in that triangle. That's like how I did. So again, if you have a blank sheet of paper like how I did, I'll show you guys in a little bit. That's how it normally looks like. But for those of us who have a packet, all you do is write down the word red or just color it in. Okay, so here I go. It's a little sloppy on my end, but it's okay. Let's try your best to color better than Mr. Milt. There we are. And I'll repeat one more time. If you don't have these colors, it's okay. Just write it with pencil. Simple, right? All right. I'm going to go clockwise. Okay. So if you have the blank sheet of paper, you won't have these words written down. We have to skip this one and we have to go to the next one. All right. So the next one is yellow. So get out of yellow and color it in. If you don't have any coloring supplies, just write down the word yellow. It works just as fine if you don't have colored supplies. But if you do, just color it in yellow. There we are. I'll wait a little bit. I see some people trying to catch up here. And again, it works just as fine on a blank sheet of paper if you don't have the packet. So this is mine from the last class. I can actually show you guys what it looks like without colors. So red, yellow. So that's what it looks like without color so far. All right, the next one is blue. Blue is the last primary color. What you're gonna do is skip a triangle again and go to the next one. So now it should look kind of like this kind of pattern right here. And again, if you don't have the colors, writing the word blue is fine. Cool, awesome. Ta -da! Cool. All right, I'm going to move this over so you guys can see two different types of color wheels at the same time. How's that? There you go. Maybe I should remove this. There you go. That's a little better. All right, there we go. Now we have two different color wheels that you guys can see. All right, the next colors I'm going to work on are called the secondary colors. So you need to get out a green, an orange, and a purple, also known as violet. Okay, so these are the next colors that we'll be working with. If you don't have these colors, coloring supplies, again, a pencil will work just as fine. The good thing about not having the packet is that you kind of have to do the work on your own, but at least you'll understand the colors a little bit better. So over here, it's blank. I have no idea what it is, unless I look at the packet, of course. But we can kind of figure it out together. What's red plus yellow? Anyone know? What's red plus yellow? I'm going to pick Aran. Aaron, sorry. What is red plus yellow? Red and yellow. Yeah, what's red plus yellow? What color is that? So out of these colors that we just picked out of the container, purple. so we have blue? I don't see blue here. Want to try again? Purple. purple. No. Can anyone help, uh, Aaron? What's red plus yellow? I'm going to pick Charlie. Orange. Good job. That was a hard one, Aaron. That's okay. So, again, if you don't have coloring supplies, just write the word orange inside the container or inside the little triangle right there. But if you do have the color, you would put it right over here. Just like so. There we are. So this is a color wheel if you don't have the colors. This is a color wheel if you do have the colors. So I'm glad I'm doing this kind of twice here. This is awesome. All right. I'm going to put away my orange. We don't need it right now. All right. We are looking good on time, guys. 
All right, what is yellow plus blue? What is yellow plus blue? I have these colors left. Anyone know? Uh, Arohi? Green. Yeah, she's right. Yellow plus blue equals green. Again, if you don't have the colors, just write it down. There we go. And last but not least, I'll answer for you guys. Red plus blue equals violet, also known as purple. So I'm going to write down the word purple here. But then I'm going to color in purple right here, which says violet. And there we go. We just finished the color wheel, and that is going to do it for today. Uh, we can double check what's going on next week, though. If you flip the page over once you're done, it does say color mixing. And you can definitely see what you're going to be needing for next week. So next week, you will be needing some colors, just like how we did today. So make sure for next week, you have red, yellow, blue, and then green, orange, violet, because you will be needing the secondary and primary colors. And it looks like we'll be needing some other colors here, but we'll talk about those colors later. Those are called tertiary colors. But I don't think I'm supposed to teach that in first grade. All right, we'll just talk about that later. So that is it for today. Um, I'm going to flip my camera around. And we actually finished on time, guys, which is awesome. All right, let me just let my camera move. Oh, there you go. All right. For those of you who participated in the activity, uh, you guys want to hold it up to your camera so I can see? Awesome. I see Paige's awesome color wheel. I see Brian's. I see Milena's. Great, Dietrich, awesome job. I saw he kind of missed some colors. That's fine, because he wrote it down. Good job, Zeolds, good job. Rhea, good job. Sean, everyone, good job. There's too many people. <laughs> good job, everyone. All right, with that said, uh, it's time to go. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. See you guys. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. Bye. I will stop Bye. 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 Bye.